your voice to God, prayer, thank you Jesus, bless your name, Lord. give you glory, thank you Holy Spirit, we worship you Lord, we bless you, pray, pray, continue to pray, continue to pray, yes Lord. Jesus, we worship you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Give you praise and glory. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord.
Jesus name. Amen. God loves you and is aware that you are here today. Mungu anakupenda na anajua ya kwamba uko mali hapa siku ya leo. I believe your heart is open to hear what God wants you to hear. Ninaamini moyo wako uko wazi. Please bring camera down sir. Your heart is open to hear what God wants you to hear. 
moyo wako uko wazi kusikia ambacho Mungu anataka usikie. Je, uko tayari? Good morning. Are you ready? It takes one's spirit to hear the voice of God. Inagarimu nafsi ya mtu kusikia sauti ya Mungu. We don't listen from God with our ears. Atusikii kutoka kwa Mungu na masikio yetu. But with our heart. Lakini na mioyo yetu. Is your heart ready to Je, hear? Je, moyo wako uko tayari kusikiza? Inua moyo wangu ili mimi nisungu sana we Ido nini nini in the heart in the spirit so please open your heart let us hear what God is saying today. You can write down. We are reading from the book of John chapter 15. Read, write it down. John 15. Verse 1. You can also write verse number 4. Verse number seven. That is John fifteen, right from verse one. But we shall be looking at verse four, verse seven. You can also write down. We'll be reading also the book of Second Corinthians. A Corinto a pili. Fungu la kumi, chapter 10, verse, you can start from verse 1, downwards, but we shall be taking verse 3, verse 6, Second Corinthians 10, all the way from 1, 3, 6. We we'll also be reading, you can write down Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7 verse 21 Meandika hizo tatu Meandika kama una kalamu unaezaomba kalamu Samuel because nataka saa nyingine ukifika kwa nyumba unaweza chukua hiyo mafundisho mahali umeandika unarudi tena kwa Bible unajisomea mwenyewe tena Mesema John 15, verse 4, verse 7, Second Corinthians 10, verse 1, 3, verse 6, Matthew 7, 21. We also go through Hebrews chapter 1. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 9. Leo nakupatia mistari nyingi kabisa. Omweka ya wiki mzima. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 9. Kwa Ibrania moja msari wa 9. Luka chapter 10. Luke 10. Luke 10. Luka 10, 19. Luke 10, 19. And lastly, Genesis chapter 1. Verse 3. Genesis chapter 1. Verse 3. Hallelujah. Good morning. I can't hear you. Good morning. It is well. So let us begin our lesson today. I want to talk to us today on this subject 
the power of a Christian. Ama kwa kiswahili gufu ya Kristo. Mtu power. Power. Power of a Christian. Gufu ya Kristo. What makes us a Christian is that by the Holy Spirit coming to us. And the Holy Spirit convicting us to accept Jesus. Are you with me? The stages of a Christian. The Holy Spirit will come first to us. He will convince, he will convict us, he will tell us to accept the word of God, Jesus Christ. So, once we believe in the word and we accept the word, the Spirit of God and the Word of God in us becomes a divine being living in us. So, leo kiurizwa na mtu wewe ni nani ujue mko watu wawili mtu wa kwanza ni utu naona Uyu. Amba ya nakulanga kitheri, doma, guashe, na hizo vitu singine. Amen. But, na jina yake anaitwa nani? Anaitwa nani? Musao. Samuel. Sasa huyu anaitwa Samuel sasa. Huyu tunaona anaitwa Samuel. But, kuna ule mtu wakondane, the inner man, ambaye anazaliwa, after roho wa mungu na neno ya mungu inatuingia sisi anaitwa mtu wa kiungu mtu wa ndani there is that in a person that is born when the spirit of god and the word of god enters into us the divine person mtu wa kiungu divine personality of god living in us hallelujah are we together I want to go slowly, slowly for you to understand. Now, without those two people, as a Christian, you are not complete. The Spirit of God and the Word of God. That is what makes us Christian. Hallelujah. I'm saying this because the power of a Christian is in the word of God. Can I repeat again? The power of a Christian is in the word of God. So those who possess the word of God those who possess the word of God they have the power of God. How do we receive the word of God? One, by hearing by reading kwa kusoma reading that means it will come to us through our eyes our ears our mind kwa kusoma itapitia macho yetu masikio na hata mawazo yetu you see the scripture unaona neno you can read the scripture unaweza soma neno through your mind kupitia mawazo yako and the word 
comes to your mind. Na neno linaingia katika mawazo yako. You possess something we call knowledge. Unamiliki kitu kinaitwa hekma. Knowledge, ufahamu. Knowledge, ufahamu of the word of God. Ya neno la Mungu. Hapo ndio tunasema sasa huyu anajua neno ya Mungu sababu amelisoma ama ameisikia na ameweka kwa mind anajua ukimuuliza John chapter 1 verse 1 inasemaje anakuambia mwanzoni kulikuwa neno neno ilikuwa na Mungu ilikuwa Mungu atakuambia maana ana anajua ameweka wapi kwa akili they will be able to tell you because they have put it in their mind that is the level of knowledge hiyo ni kiwango cha maarifa kujua ufahamu unajua unajua kuhusu Mungu unajua neno lake you know about god and you know his word and that is where many christians are living today uh, that's why i don't call them christian at that level i will call them believers at that level i will call them believers because they are those who, who possess the word at the level of knowledge kuna wanamiliki neno kwa kiwango cha maarifa they know the word wanafahamu neno it is in their mind iko katika mawazo yao that is not bad anyway sio vibaya but it's just the beginning of the process of becoming a christian lakini ni mwanzo tu wa njia ya kuwa mkristo some want to go further and turn back to the knowledge they have in their mind they begin to meditate on that knowledge that word they have in mind wengine wanataka kwenda zaidi wanarudi katika lile neno ambao wako nayo wanaanza kulitafakari so the more you are thinking about the word of god you think about the word of god unatafakari neno la mungu that word begins to change ilo neno linaanza kubadilika begins to change form inaanza kubadilika and become something we say is like a revelation is like a vision is like something alive is a living thing inaanza kuwa kitu ambacho kinaishi kitu ambacho kiko katika mauno the more you think about the word of god kulingana na vile unafikiria zaidi neno la Mungu the more you understand about what you know unaelewa zaidi kulingana na kinyo unajua you think about it you think about it you think about it the more you are thinking about the word of god the more you are receiving to know god in bigger way ukiendelea kulifikiria na kulifikiria linafanya uenze kujua Mungu kwa njia ya kikubwa revelation becomes your possession una ufunuo na kuwa mtu wa ufunuo amen and also again that is not the last stage na hiyo sio kiwango cha mwisho with that revelation ukiwa na ufunuo huo taking place in your heart this time not in the mind but in the heart ikiendelea katika moyo wako upon you living in obedience to that word wakati unaishi kwa kutii neno hilo upon you walking according to that word wakati unatembea kulingana na hilo neno that word possesses you now hilo neno linakumiliki sasa it owns you inakumiliki you become a property of that word unakuwa sehemu ya hilo neno you become an instrument in the hands of the word, that word unakuwa chombo katika mikono ya neno hilo so at that level the word can speak through you the word can use you and it can act through you katika kiwango hicho neno linaweza nena kupitia wewe praise the name of jesus These are levels of growing as a Christian. Hizi ni viwango za kukua kama mkristo. At that level of 
revelation because of the obedience you realize the words coming out of you can create something the word can perceive it can see where no eye can see the word can understand what is hidden behind the reach of human eye at that stage 3 praise the name of Jesus let me ask you a question are you growing in the word je unakuwa katika neno utajiwaje kama unakuwa katika neno ambayo unaijua because ni vizuri kujiexamine ujiulize je mimi nasema nimeokoka najua Mungu lakini je nina grow do i grow ninakuwa ninakuwa stages za kukua zinaanza tu kama vile nimesema usome neno weke kwa akili uifikiri uitafakari ile neno ambayo unasoma uanze kuona Mungu kwa picha kubwa na hata uanze kujielewa we mwenyewe kwa picha kubwa you take the word of god put it in your mind and start meditating and start seeing god in a bigger picture na the moment unaanza kutembea katika kuti ile sauti ya Mungu ama ile neno ambayo unajua when you start walking in obedience of the word of god ile neno iko ndani yako sasa inakuwa mtu ambaye anaishi that word becomes a living being na nielewa sasa ambaye anaweza akaongea kupitia kinywa chako anaweza akaona anaweza ka jua mambo yaliyo katika siri it can speak through your mouth it can see through your eyes and even see the hidden things praise the name of jesus hallelujah the power of a christian nguvu ya mkristo is in the word of god iko katika neno la mungu so the more the word you possess ambapo unamiliki neno at level of revelation wakati uko na ufunuo the more power you possess unakuwa na nguvu hata zaidi a christian without god's word mkristo ambaye hana neno la mungu is powerless hana nguvu yoyote say after me a christian without the word of god is powerless Say it again. A Christian without the word of God is powerless. Ni kama askari ndio huyu amevaa sare ya askari vizuri kutoka kichwa mpaka miguu na hako na buduki. Lakini buduki haina nini? Risasi. So hawezi piga chochote. Ni sawa na Mkristo ambaye ana neno because power ya mkristo iko katika ile neno ana possess the power of a christian is in the word that they possess how powerful are you je uko na nguvu kiwango gani you can know yes you can know unaweza jua ni kweli unaweza jua it is in relation to the word you possess inaambatana na neno ambacho unamiliki those who tremble before the word of god ambao wanatetemekea neno la mungu the same word they tremble before hilo neno wanatetemekea who cause satan and demons to tremble before them itasababisha mapepo yatetemeke mbele yao unanisikia vizuri wale wanatetemekea neno ya mungu wanaheshimu neno wanaitii neno na wanatembea kwa kunyenyekea hiyo neno wanaheshimu nayo inakamata shetani anatetemeka mbele yao because neno ndiyo power ya mkristo the word is the power of a christian 
That's why John 15 inasema Na neno yangu kikanda ni yenu. Tupata. Rudia nyu. Kile mnataka mtapewa. Whatever you want, you shall receive it. Chochote unataka utapewa. Meaning, if we want simple life of Christianity, we must possess the word of God and become doers of that word. Without the word, he says we can produce nothing. Aha, nyinyi ni branches lazima mkae ndani yangu ndio mzae nini matunda na bila kuwa ndani yangu hakuna nini kumaanisha everything tunafanya sio juu yetu ni juu ya ile neno tuna tu, tuko nayo ndani ya mioyo yetu everything that we do is not because of us but because of the word that is in our hearts powerful christians are not those who are praying christians Wa Kristo ambao wana nguvu si wa Kristo ambao wanaomba. It is those who are doers of the word of God. Ni wale ambao wanatenda neno la Mungu. Thank you. I repeat again. Powerful Christian wa Kristo ambao wana nguvu is not those who are prayerful Christians. Si wale ni waombezi sana. I know prayer is the key. Ninajua maombi ni kifungu but powerful Christians are doers of the word. Unajua maandiko inasema inafika mahali inasema hata kutii ni bora kuliko kufunga eh? na kuomba. Obedience is better than prayer and fasting. Sasa wale tuna tunaangalianga maombi peke yake ujue kutenda neno ndio ile kitu kubwa sana shetani anaogopa kwa Mkristo. Hata si kuomba because unaweza kuwa a prayerful person but you are not a person of faith, obedient person. Unaweza kuwa mtu muombaji lakini wewe si mtu wa imani. Tell your neighbor, unaweza kuwa muombaji lakini sio mtu wa kutii neno. Ukitaka kujua watu kama hawa maisha yao inakuangaii, wanaendanga zingzang juu chini, juu chini. Wale ni waombaji lakini si watu wa kutii neno. So ile neema inampush juu ni wakati wa kuomba, akiomba but kwa sababu ana neno ya ku maintain ile maombi na baraka mahali Mungu anamweka kwa sababu ya kutokutii anashushwa tena chini ili nikikuita kanisikia hebu nikuulize swali we mbona unataka ukita Mungu asikie lakini ye wakati anakuita we hausikii na unajua maandiko yanasema ngaye ni jealousy ni Mungu mwenye jealousy kwa nini unataka kusikia we na akikuita we usikii why do you want him to listen Asa to you? Jennifer, usiende hapo, usiende hapo. Ah, unaenda na mwili wako wote. Sasa ukipika hapo ndio unaanza kusema Jesus, Jesus. Oh, hata kuja. Utaitana, utanyongwa, hata ulalie Bible, utanyongwa tu mata ijaye kwa Biblia. Waze kusema niliita Mungu yako nisikia. Niliomba yako nijibu. Si Mungu, maandiko yanasemaje? Yesaya 59. Sikio lake alijafungana kwamba sikii mkono wake si mfupi lakini ni nini ni kutokusikia kwetu kumetutenganisha na Mungu More grace Neema za More grace More grace More grace Now you can know how powerful you are Unaweza jua sasa vile unavyo uko na nguvu those of us 
Every day is quarrel, trouble. Those of us, every day is negativity. You are in the wrong place, doing the wrong things. You can know how powerful you are as a Christian. Powerless Christian. Food for Satan. Seven Mekata. Kwanzia Leo. Mimi si chakula ya shetan. Bwana Yesu nifundishe kutii kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Nataka uweke covenant na Mungu. I want you to put a covenant with God. Mwambie. Mimi sitaki kuwa tu Mkristo. Tell him you just don't want to be a Christian. Lakini nataka kuwa Mkristo ambaye anaweza ku access vitu zote ziko katika ufalme wa Mungu. But you want to be a everything Christian. Everything in the kingdom. You can access everything that is in the kingdom of God. Wale wana access hizo realms. Kila kitu Mungu ako nacho. Sio wote. Unasema Yesu anasema sio kila mtu ananiita Bwana Bwana ataingia. Lakini ni wale wana tenda you are going to be able to come here. Stop blaming your brother, your sister. Wacha kula umu nugu zako na dada zako. Stop blaming your parents. Wacha kula umu wazazi wako. Your neighbors. Hallelujah. If you take this word serious, whatever you go, Whatever you are, whatever you are doing, power of God will be your portion. You will not struggle. How to nangana? Ita bakitu zile changamoto za kawaida za mkristo. Mbaso ne lazima upitie. You will remain with normal challenges of a Christian that you have to go through. Lazima ujaribiwe, of course. You must be tried. But kila jaribu bila kupeleka kiwango ingine. But every trial takes you to another level. Kila jaribu inakupeleka kiwango ingine. Every trial takes you to another level. Simama tuombe.